Hi everyone, hope you're all really well. Hope you've got plenty of sewing there on the sewing table. Well, personally for me, I have got heaps on the go. I've just sewn up a beautiful new top. Now today is all about brand new patterns for the month of August. I know a lot of you have been waiting for these new release videos. There hasn't been much happening the last couple of weeks, I must say, on the whole new pattern front. I think a lot of people over in the Northern Hemisphere, of course, are on holiday. Uh, a lot of the new releases happen sort of before and after the summer. So here in Australia, of course, we're in the middle of winter and you may be wondering why I'm sitting outside in a little short sleeve top. Well, I couldn't wait to show you what I made because this is a brand new release from the lovely Joe at Forget Me Not Patterns over in New Zealand. And it's the new Sylvie top release. Uh, I've made it with this beautiful cotton jersey from my online store. It's the Leopard Noir, um, beautiful cotton, uh, lightweight kind of stretchy jersey. It's quite drapey. It's, it's got a beautiful gold metallic leopard print throughout it. And I just thought it would match this pattern beautifully. I actually uh, was sent this pattern from Jo and she thought I might like to review it because I do love her patterns. Her patterns have always got a little unique touch and in particular this one it's not only the little yoke detail at the front it's this beautiful cowl neck and I love a good flutter sleeve and I know a lot of you do as well. They're just a beautiful style to wear. Um, this one in particular is the cowl neck of course a flutter sleeve. You can make it in a sleeveless version. You do get options for sleeveless uh, binding around the armholes and if you prefer just a round neck you can put the simple round neck with just the v yoke at the front but i love a good cow neck uh, it's one of my favorite things for being a bit more glam and if you have a beautiful glam fabric to go with it, it really sets it off you can wear it with a good pair of jeans or just a little pair of heels and even this with a gorgeous skirt and I know that Natalie skirt she's got there looks stunning with it as well and I got this out of a meter and a half of fabric it's quite a good pattern it's very conservative with fabric use uh, you just need to make sure that you're using especially if you're using uh, having the cow neck you use something with that little bit of drape but I think it looks beautiful I'm really happy with how it's come up uh, I made the size 44 it comes from a 28 to a 52. Uh, I'll put some pics up so you can see exactly how it looks on me but it's just a really pretty simple little top to wear paired back with any of your separates. Uh, I love that Jo always makes these little uh, details in patterns and of course uh, a lot of her patterns have unique pleating and this one in particular with the yoke detail and the cow neck I think it looks stunning on. Now she did have a discount on the pattern for its release and of course that's now ended but for my viewers for the next two days after this video is released you can get 20% off the pattern if you use the code DALIA and um, that's in capitals in the checkout uh, part of the Forget Me Not Patterns website when you go to check out that's a promo code you must use to get 20% off so if you're wanting to get this pattern another great opportunity to get it at a discount right there and this is especially for my viewers here at the Dali Society and of course if you're new to the Dali Society I love uh, anything to do with sewing bringing new fabric and pattern inspiration I love sewing my own wardrobe and I also love inspiring all of you guys because the sewing community is just the best in my opinion. I also love growing dahlias in the uh, summer and autumn time as well, hence the name Dahlia Society. And I also have an online shop uh, that is actually not only a fabric store, but I do have bespoke boxes that come out every month second Sunday of the month and they are in limited quantities as well. So if you're interested in any of those details, don't forget to head on over and sign up to my newsletter, which I try and get out at least once a week to once a fortnight to let you all know what's happening in the Dally Society world. For anyone that is a subscriber to Helen's Closet, of course, Helen has the wonderful podcast with Carolyn uh, called Love to Sew. Uh, Helen's just released a brand new pattern. It's actually free if you are her newsletter subscriber. It's called the Orchard orchard top or dress now this is a really lovely simple summery dress but I'm sure you could layer it it is bra friendly as well as having a kind of a thicker strap you can do the bias binding option she has got a top version or a dress version now it's labeled as an easy fit dartless dress but I think you can add darts the inseam pockets for the dress are really lovely as well so it's sort of like an a-line style really simple dress but looks very practical as well so I'm thinking that would be lovely to to uh, layer 
year for autumn or the spring as well. Now, another new pattern that was released, I have touched on this and spoken about it because I actually have printed out the pattern uh, in a zero format, and that is the star-like almond coat. Now, this coat is really stunning. It's like a trench style, but it has a few unique details. Size range is four to 30. You can make it in the full kind of length or the knee length, and it has this really lovely wrap style with the sort of the thick style belt that's sewn into the back with an inverted pleat so you, you have plenty of room there to wrap it around but a really lovely belt detail and I just love that kind of trench style feel because I think they are great for this time of year especially here in Australia when you have those cooler days um, but also can turn into warmer days and you want to do a bit of layering uh, it looks fantastic with a pair of jeans or over a lovely dress as well. Another new release that had happened uh, more towards the end of July was a beautiful dress from Love Notions and this one is very special because it is cute Kira from Ireland Socialist first pattern so to speak uh, for Love Nations patterns and it's the salt whistle dress. You can make this in a top or a dress and it's beautiful peplum style with elasticated waist and it has this really lovely um, three tiered effect. Uh, really really pretty. You could do so much with this and I'm really uh, visualizing maybe some kind of broderie on glay fabric for summer or a cotton. I love how she's done it with different fabrics, some uh, print mixing there, some color mixing as well. Has a really really pretty square neckline too is so gorgeous I think she's really done a wonderful job creating such a unique pattern there because I haven't seen anything quite like this I think it would be stunning for summertime and I also think just beautiful in the top format to wear with a pair of jeans as well of course Love Notions have a fantastic size range very popular pattern company for the home sewers and I think that this just adds something really unique and different to their collection as well and I would really love to see more patterns like this especially from uh, their guest vloggers and I know Kira also has an affiliate link there uh, with the uh, Love Notions Patent Company as do I but I really really think it's so fantastic to go ahead and support someone like Kira uh, for bringing this kind of creativity to Love Notions Patent so well done to her. The very popular patent company Friday Patent Company have come out with a brand new body suit it's the Elysian body suit it's a really practical looking body suit with a, a kind of a seam under the bust a long sleeve skirt scoop neck of course you can change this to a short sleeve quite easily uh, the size range on this is extra small to 7xl and I think that Chelsea really does a wonderful job bringing those basics through her um, pattern collection there if you're wanting to put something like a blazer over the top you can quite easily do that I think it's really nice to have these simple kind of patterns to be pairing back with all your Friday, uh, Friday Pattern Company favorite patterns. Now one that I did see that really caught my attention was I have been looking at this dress for a couple of years now. It's the Cashmere Wrap Pattern Holyoke dress. Now this dress has uh, recently only been up, uh, downsized, I should say upsized, downsized. Well it actually normally comes in a US size 12 and up. But now they've only just recently increased the size range to start at a zero to 16 as well as having that uh, size 12 and up range because it's one that I have looked at for quite Quite some time and I really really would uh, personally definitely wear this dress to death throughout summer because it has a great uh, strap there for wearing with a bra through summer and just that lovely sweetheart neck and button front it's got a beautiful shaping throughout the body as well as being that long line uh, like sort of fit and flare shape but really pretty dress and it's just so nice to see pattern companies um, once they've got a great pattern to extend on sizing uh, both ways there because I, I really personally would love to make this dress for summertime so it's one that is on my list. Now the lovely Katie from Paper Cut Patterns has just come out with Paper Cute Patterns this is a range for kids from sizes 3 to 13 and what I love about this is that she's not only come up with a kids range, she's actually chosen her patterns and made sort of miniature sizes which is just so cute and I think to make uh, like a mummy and me version or a daddy and me version in all of these uh, patterns is just so lovely to have and it's one thing that I do wish they had have sewn more when the kids were little. Uh, my kids when they were little I usually made them costumes, I didn't really do much sewing for them um, and I can imagine how fun that would be to create kind of matching uh, matching outfits so um, all the best to Katie for this new launch of hers and of course we all wish her well in her breast cancer treat treatment uh, I know a lot of you went on to buy a pattern in support for the PDF 
for paper cut support um, to buy a PDF just to maybe help Katie with her battle there just to make things a little bit easier for her. Uh, personally for me I bought three patterns. I actually have one on the carding table at the moment and that is the Nova Coat from Paper Cut Patterns. I'm making that in a pink wool that I'm just so excited. So I've just actually cut out the lining and the, um, the wool fabric itself and I'm going for the shorter version coat. But I'm going to tell you all about my makes and what's happening with me on the next episode. But today is just all about new pattern releases. So well done to Katie for bringing in this fantastic new range of kids patterns out. Now, Victory Patterns have come out with the Rowena jumpsuit. Now, I know a lot of you know that I'm not a huge fan of jumpsuits because of the practicality. Love how they look. Always love wearing them. But just the issue with going to the loo can be a bit of a nightmare. But if you can get past that, they really can make you look fantastic and give you a lovely shape as well as having the practical uh, element of having pants on there. So I love the fact that they've got a crossover body bodice with the lovely kimono kind of shape sleeve and they're shearing at the waist which is so good for for fitting. I know a lot of people love the um, Paper Theory Zadie jumpsuit. This one looks equally as comfortable and really looks flattering on so that's one that I would love to see on as well. So love a good jumpsuit, just need to get out of the laziness that I have as far as uh, the practicality side. I know a lot of you feel that way too but look lately I haven't been doing a lot of pants so I've been finding I enjoy uh, tops, jackets, separates uh, and dresses. Personally, unless I can really dedicate time to making a pair of pants that I'm after, I don't wear a lot of pants other than through summer I might wear a lot of elast elasticated waist um, palazzo style pants and jeans. I have got favourite je jeans that I buy myself so I actually haven't done a great deal of pants sewing recently but I know a lot of people are looking for that perfect pair of pants and it can take quite a while to get the right fit and really feel comfortable in your me made pants but look I may venture into that more into the summer um, summertime and I do love a good pair of linen loose floaty pants but yeah jumpsuits are just so lovely to wear because of the shape they give you you it's like you're wearing a dress but the practicality of having pants is a winner so need to get over my laziness there and of course, the Pattern Emporium release for this month was the Sweet Cheek Sweater. And of course, I have made five now, five, and I've got my sixth one on the cutting table because I cannot get enough of this pattern. It is personally a real favourite for me. And thank you to so many of you who went ahead and bought through my affiliate link. It really means the world to me. And it does help uh, me to put back into the channel. It does give me a small commission that I can bring you more content. So not only have I made a couple of Lurex ones, I've made a French Terry. I'm actually about to make a V-neck one in some beautiful Nerida Hanson French Terry as well because it's still going to be cool for quite some time here in Australia especially here in Melbourne, I should say, because I know a lot of the northern states, they will warm up a lot quicker. But we are usually cool here in Melbourne till at least October and it can be very up and down October as well. So I'm still going to be wanting to wear some warm, cosy things. But I love the cow neck version, but I really want to make a couple of the V-neck versions. And I, the thing that I love most about this Sweet Cheeks patterns is the uh, the beautiful hemline. It gives you that split uh, hem effect, which is just so lovely. And the way that Kate shows you how to sew that is very, very easy uh, rather than doing mitered hems and that kind of thing, having those two separate pieces front and back is very easy as well as that she has got a couple of great videos showing you how she does her v-neck which is not the traditional way of doing a v-neck but it just gives such a lovely kind of chunky v-neck uh, a different option again to maybe what you're used to so another fantastic pattern from Pattern Emporium. The next new pattern release from another pattern company which I haven't seen a pattern release from them for quite a while it is Grainline Studios and it's called the Corinne Top now this is actually a drapey style top with a little bit of waist definition in the middle there. Uh, she's got a wide neckline and the ruffled cap sleeve option or the three quarter straight sleeve option. This is a lovely woven, very beginner friendly, kind of a shift style top. Uh, lovely looking top with a few little nice details there. So that is another great little simple pattern for any beginner sewist out there, or maybe just even uh, a simple top pattern if you're wanting to showcase a lovely, bright, fancier style print.
So that is all I have to show you for new patterns for August. I'm sure there'll be another one released as soon as this video comes out. But if you know of any new patterns that we've missed here, please write them in the comments below because I do love reading your comments. It does take me a bit longer to get back to you guys uh, these days than it used to, but I do try my best to try and get back to every one of you. Um, also, the box release for August, the My Favourite Things box, of course, the Sound of Music theme we're having is on the Sunday, the 14th of August, which is coming up this next weekend, 7 p.m. And of course, as always, limited numbers there. And I know a lot of you were really upset you missed out on the Moulin Rouge box after seeing the unboxing. So hopefully that will inspire you to get online and uh, nab one of these boxes for yourself. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed what I have to offer you today. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love it if you could do that. And if you've loved watching this video, of course, brand new pattern releases, a thumbs up would be fantastic. Very sad news came through this morning. I haven't been able to stop crying today. I actually just uh, learnt that Olivia Newton-John has passed away and of course, childhood hero of mine, just like so many other people around the world, we all adored her. Um, I actually collect um, a lot of memorabilia from Olivia. I've got a, a Barbie doll collectible from Greece. I've got a, a lot of her vinyls. And actually one of my friends for my 50th just gave me a beautiful wall plaque with the whole Greece um, set out on it like the Greece sort of movie scenes and it was just so lovely but we didn't think you know a month later we'd be losing Olivia and of course sadly she has um, passed away from she's battled breast cancer and I think it, it went into her spine which is very very sad so she's battled there for quite um, some time I think over 30 years now but always such a great advocate for um, research into breast cancer as well which is fantastic and her wellness centres are just such a ray of sunshine for so many people battling uh, illness at the moment so uh, yeah I'd like to pay tribute to her and of course I know like a lot of you loved her she's a very famous Aussie export that we, we absolutely adored her my friends and I growing up just um, I think we all wanted to be Olivia and just such a beautiful role model um, for any young girl growing up very very sadly missed uh, of course yeah I know a lot of you are feeling the same way but just haven't been able to stop the tears today I think it's just that uh, when your idols when they go it really really hits hard doesn't it so um yeah I think you'll all be feeling a bit the same way today so we need to jump on the sewing machine to give myself some therapy there I think definitely might be on the cards today so take it easy everybody